Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. My name is Ticha Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is my family. And before we get into any lessons, boys and girls, it's important for us to sanitize. So let us take our sanitizer and sing our special sanitizing song. Sanitize every day so the germs can stay away sanitize every day so the germs can stay away yay good job everyone for today's lesson we will be talking about squares For our first lesson today, boys and girls, let us turn to page 17. On page 17, we are going to be doing the square. Everyone, let's say square. 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 Well done, good job. So, I am going to tell you what makes the square a very special shape. So, let's take a look at the flashcard. Now, the square makes a special shape because it has four equal sides. One, two, three, four. Let's count them again together. One, two, three, four. So the square has four sides. The square also has four corners. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four. So it has four equal sides and four corners. So the square can be turned round and round and round and round and it will still be the same size but a square can also be a small square or a big square so we can actually make our serviette into a small square it will still have the same equal size if we turn them the same four corners as well. And if we want a big square, it will still have its same equal sides and same four corners. For our first exercise, we need to trace the square. So I want us to do it together. I would like you to please take your pencil or your color and we're going to do it together. I'm going to do it on the board and you are going to do it in your booklet. So the first thing we need to do is start at the corner because we want to make a square like this. 
So we're going to start at the corner, put your pencil by the corner, and there are two rules you need to remember when tracing. The first one is that you must catch each and every trace line or dot. It's very important that you make sure that every single trace line or dot is caught by your pencil or your color. The next one that you need to remember is to slow down. Take your time so that when you are done, it is a beautiful, beautiful square. If you rush, the chances are that it won't look very nice. So I want you to take your time. So remember, make sure that you catch all the dots or all the lines. And number two, make sure that you take your time so that it can be neat. Right, are we ready? Let's go. So we're going to start in one corner and we're going to go across. Can you see how slow I am going? I hope you are also going as slow. Take your time and make sure each and every trace line is caught. The next way I'm going to go is down. So I'm going to turn my pencil a little bit and come down. You can see that I'm trying very hard to be in the same line as my tracing line. Then when I get to the corner, the next one I'm going to do is across. This one's difficult because sometimes I can't see the line. So let's try and keep our hand in the same position, moving across. Good job, my friends. Then we are now at the last corner. I hope you are also there too. What we are now going to do is go up. So we're going to go up, catching each and every trace dot, making sure no one is left behind. Take your time, you don't have to rush. And keep your hand straight and your pencil pressing down. And ta-da! I have a beautiful square! And I hope you also have a beautiful square. Now that we are done with tracing our square, let us go to the next page on page 18. On page 18, it is now going to be a little bit tricky because we have other shapes joining us. But it is asking you to only color the squares using a yellow color. So I want you to please use only yellow for your squares. This is a yellow color, the one that I have in my hand. So. Use a yellow color to color all your squares. And remember, when you are coloring, you color either going across, which means side to side, or up and down. We don't color going all over the place, no. So it's either up and down coloring, or side to side. Take your time, boys and girls. Color inside your square lines and I will see you soon when you are done after this advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. We have now come to the end of our lesson, boys and girls, and I hope you had so much fun. Remember, if you don't understand, you can always ask for help. Now that we are done with our lesson, it is very important for us to sanitize. 
So let us take our sanitizer and sing our special song. Sanitize every day so the germs can stay away. Sanitize every day so the germs can stay away. Yay! Good job everyone! But I wonder, I haven't seen my best friend today. Sashi, are you here? Sashi, ah! <laughs> there you are, Sashi. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you so much for joining us today and goodbye! <laughs>